Jezebel is not just a woman. She represents a system. And notice that every time Jezebel appears, she looks for government. Jezebel always wants to sit at the seat of government. Why? Because that's where policies are made. That's where, that's the control room. The merchants of the earth, it is based on their harlotry with Jezebel that they increase. But let me show you what is going to happen shortly. Ready? Revelations 19, please. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Someone's life is shifting already. Because you see, if you, if you will access the blessings of God, you must understand his terminologies. You must understand his heart. And after these things, Revelations 19 from verse 1, I heard a great voice of much people saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power be unto our God, and so on and so forth. Sorry, go to verse 18, chapter 18. Chapter 18 and verse 2. Ready? And he cried mightily with a voice saying, Look up please. Babylon the great is fallen. Is fallen and is become the habitation of devils. And every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean things. Now read verse 3 if you are a Christian. Ready? One to read. For all nations, how many nations? Have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth how did they become rich have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth wax rich how through the abundance of her delicacies go to verse 9 the destruction of this system verse 9 let's read together one to read and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament her when they shall see the smoke of her burning verse 10 standing afar off for the fear of her torment alas alas that great city babylon that mighty city for in one hour how long in one hour is your destruction come in one hour is your destruction come Go to verse 11. We're reading and then we'll stop at 13. Verse 11. Go ahead. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. For no man buyeth her merchandise anymore. That means Babylon is a business. Jezebel is a businesswoman. It's not just a system. They is, is economically empowered. 12. Now look at what she sells. These are her commodities. Hmm. Ready? The merchandise of gold, silver, precious stones, pearls, fine linen, purple, silk, scarlet, tyan wood, all manner of vessels of ivory, vessels of most precious wood, brass, iron, marble, tatin. Now let's read together. Cinnamon and odors and ointments. She sells anointing. She sells anointing. You can buy anointed man. And frankincense. Continue. And wine. And oil. And flour. And wheat. Read on. And beasts. And sheep. And horses. Read on. And chariots. And slaves. And where did she get them? From those who exchanged their souls for money. What shall it profit a man when you exchange your soul and gain the whole world? Here is this goddess that sits upon a horse. The Bible says she's a businesswoman. And her products, like you have a store, shop right, you have orange, you have this, that this woman has a buffet of products, among them slaves. So I can sing anything and it still sells because there are people who have been subject to that system. And the Bible says she can sell the souls of men. Babylon, 
the souls of men. Do you know how many people have gotten prosperity at the expense of their souls? They are still alive, but they are dead. Please sit down. They are alive, but they are dead. In one hour, in one hour, a man's destruction comes because of your fraternity with Babylon. Ah.